Hi everyone and welcome to the OKRs or Objectives and Key Results Notion system. This is a comprehensive system that breaks down your organization into areas, quarters, objectives and key results and also has a reflection feature to make sure that everyone is tuned in on their key objectives and their trajectory toward the higher goal. You can see the core components of this system are right here and we start from areas or departments of your organization. When you open the areas database, you will see that you can add new areas quite quickly using the template available here, new area. And when you do so, let's say this is we'll see using the template that you already have a section for objectives and for key results where all the objective and key results related to the new area product development will show up at the same time if you want to add the new objective directly now when you create the new area you can do so from here from this board view grouping objectives by their status you can click on new at any time and create a new objective for that area and so each area or department is a page and when you open that page that is a mini dashboard where you can see the situation at any given time for that specific area of your organization and this can also be applied to your personal life if you want to use this OKR system for your personal life areas are your buckets or your most important life areas that you want to develop next up there are quarters and quarters is a pre-populated database right now with the four quarters of 2022 and 2023 and this database is used for reference because every objective is linked to a quarter at the department level and so when you create an objective you will link that objective to the quarter you would see that the quarter has very simple features such as the time frame the link to the objective or the relation the number of objectives here and whether it is this year or not in a formula here checkbox when you use a template for quarters, you will see on the quarter page all the objectives across all the departments for that specific quarter, also by department. Next up, there are objectives. This is the core of the system. Objectives are linked to an area and they are achieved through multiple key results. So when you create an objective, you just use the template available here, new objective. area say product development for the sake of this example the quarter in this case let's say this is quarter 2022 and there is a description for the objective where you want to write down exactly what this objective is about and this is very important because especially when you are working in a team knowing exactly what it is that you are aiming at is fundamental for everyone to be aligned and that's the power of OKRs alignment across the organization the status of the objective can be planned if it's in the future active reflection stage or completed let's say this is active since we already are in quarter one and the type of objective it can be committed aspirational or learning and these three types have been defined by john doer in his original google okr's presentation that you can find linked in the blog post in the youtube description and when you create an objective you can categorize it based on its type and in this case let's say this is committed and here we have a couple of products and formula in particular this formula for progress it calculates the progress as a percentage based on the key results completed for that objective by using the template here you can write down why this objective why did you choose it why are you working on it what is the reason behind this objective what is the meaning of this objective and here you can even more go in depth into the meaning and what this objective is about and then we have the key results related to the objective where you will see here all the situation for the key results for this specific objective here and you can create those key results directly here on this page like this
will populate all the necessary properties here the type the due date grade and self-assessment these are important properties for the reflection stage so the grade is from 0 to 1 and 0 meaning complete failure and 1 meaning total achievement of this key result and this is established at the end of this key result so at the due date you will give it a grade let's say 0 0.8 self-assessment instead is your general opinion on what has been the performance on this key result and this as well goes from 0 to 1 0 being very bad and 1 being this is great we achieved this key result and it was quite challenging so it was a good key result whereas 0 would be this key result even if achieved was very easy maybe too easy for us and so we need to stretch ourselves a bit more next time we plan key results and so let's say in this example this is going to be 0 0.5 and notes where you can write down whatever information you need for this key result and here we have a done checkbox and an archive checkbox so the done checkbox is a formula and it's going to be checked only if the grade is one so if the grade is one that means that the key result has been achieved and so it would be marked off as complete otherwise if you see that the due date has arrived but this key result wasn't achieved you can still archive it by manually checking the box archive that was objectives and key results finally there are two dashboards the first one is for the general company dashboards and this is where you can see the okrs at the whole company level so you will see the key areas right here on the left hand side of the page you will see the current objectives at the top of the page and their progress right here and you will see the key results that are currently being worked on so from here you can have a bird's eye view of everything that's going on at the company level but if you want to generate a new dashboard for individual team members contributing to the okrs you can do so by choosing the template button right here new person dashboard will generate a new team member dashboard and every time you create a new personal dashboard you will need to update some filters in this case here you will substitute my with the name of the person Next up, you will read this description and understand that you need to make sure that the filters are updated for the person using this dashboard. Objectives, for example, we will change the filter where it says that people, any, contains, in this case, we want it to contain Simone. And for key results, that's the same. Filter contains Simone. You need to make sure that you do this on every database view. On objectives, you see that there are other views in particular the board view and here as well you will need to update the filter for the person and for key results and at the very bottom of the personal dashboard we have a reflection component this is a quite important component to a comprehensive okr system and when you generate a new reflection the team member can go through some key questions that John Doerr explained and shared in his original presentation and in a recent podcast episode. Here you will see my OKR reflection. You will change this with your name and we'll see all your key results where archive is not checked and you are the responsible person. You will see the objectives where you are the responsible person and you have some key prompts that you can answer right here after reviewing your situation you can go here open the toggles and go through all the questions for a comprehensive reflection about your performance how you felt about it and what you think could go better went very good and what you think didn't go as planned this is the whole structure of the okrs system you will find the link in the description of this video together with the blog post thank you for watching and see you soon